This is video number three in our learn to knit a beanie lefty style. Um, so I finished my knit two purl two ribbing here. I did my five rows. And you can see it kind of makes that nice edge that you find on a lot of beanies out there. And this is very elastic. I mean, it looks really small, but it has a lot of stretch to it, which is good for a baby's head, which is good for anybody's head, really. So now we're going to do the body of the head, the body of the hat. We finished the edging, and now we're going to do the body. The body of this hat is just stocking knit stitch, which, when you're working in the round, is just knitting. So we're going to do the body. So we're going to knit around every round until we have, for a newborn sized hat, three inches from this cast on edge. So we're just going to keep knitting and knitting and knitting and knitting until we have three inches total. So for this step, you're going to need your measuring tape because you're going to have to measure as you go. Now, if you accidentally make it too long, the beauty of the ribbing is you can always fold it up. And it's not really going to affect the hat too, too much. But that's why you should, you really have to keep an eye on what you're doing. I like to check how far I am every few rows. And after a while, you can tell by looking how about how much you have. Okay, we just did the first round of the body and we just knit every stitch. You see that went pretty fast. I used continental style that time and that went pretty fast. Now we're gonna do that again and we're just gonna keep going around and around and around. And then yet every, after every couple rows, you're gonna measure and you see I'm only at an inch and a quarter so I've got to keep going. So once you have worked enough rows just knitting every row around and around and around and always measure just remember where your beginning of the row is it's always here wherever this end is. Always stop there and then measure from after you've finished an entire round because you don't want to have another needle to go and then measure on one and think you have more to go and you really don't. So once you've completed a round, you're going to measure. I have an inch and a quarter. I have to keep going. Once you hit three, come back and we'll start on video four with the decreases. And that is going to be how we close the top of the hat so it's not all bunchy and it closes the hat up and we cinch it off tight. So once you hit three inches, come back for video four. I'll see you then.